you open the picture library, we already created one called Pictures Examples, click on Open, and you see there are already two pictures in the library. But we will add some more. We have already created some nodes, and as you will know from the document library, each node, when you click on it, will execute a query. You can generate the query by uh, using the nodes, and you can add SQL code yourself. But we start with a simple example. For instance, when we click on the node Almere Haver, the city where Matisoft is located, the tags should be city and Almere Haver. We will select some pictures taken in Almere Haver. We add and select the Add Pictures button. And you will see two pictures are added. And during the import operation, each picture has been given the tag City Almere Haver, exactly the same as the node represents City Almere Haver. So the query, which is generated for you, no need to know any XUL code, is select all the fields from the pictures example library where text is city and Almere Haver. So when you click on it, it's executed. When you click on all pictures, you see all the profiles. When you click on Almere Haver, you will only see the pictures taken in Almere Haver. We select set filter. We go and select city and enter the value Paris. Run and save the query. The series is called the, with the description Paris. And now you see, when you look at the SQL code, it's a bit different. Now we select the fields from the pictures example library where the field city is like Paris. It will list, of course, the same uh, pictures as before, but now on totally different criteria. Well, next we will add a picture taken of the Statue of Liberty. We select the node Famous Attractions United States and Buildings. In the right panel we select the picture and we will add the node using adding pictures. As you can see, you see the thumbnail of the Statue of Liberty and as you might know, Folder View is all about managing files, managing your information, like for instance searching on the internet some extra information about the holiday you had in New York using DuckDuckGo and the Wikipedia. We want to copy this to the note attached to this picture. And when you click on the note now, you will see the Wikipedia page about the picture. And again, of course, you can view the picture using the image viewer. You go to the map and you go to street view and now you can have a look around using street view. You have your Statue of Liberty Wikipedia page and the street view about this picture in your library. So this is really where ex Folder Viewer excels. There's a lot of information. For instance, when you make a project for school, for your university, or writing an article, or for your just for your holiday pictures, there's a lot of information. There's no other program can have so much information at such an easy way, and um, you can use it in many many different things. Well, to wrap this v instruction video up, we have an uh, yeah, a final, more advanced use of the database. For instance, if you want to query certain periods. For instance, make a list of all the pictures taken on Christmas. We have an, an SQL query made specially. We use the online help file of the Nexus database and we have made the query ourselves. We'll explain step by step. First, we select all the fields from the picture examples library. Then we use an extract uh, function of the Nexus database. We extract the month 
of the daytime original. Daytime original is the property of the picture itself. It's an EXIF property, the date and the time where the picture was taken. Because we want to use it to select all the pictures taken on Christmas, we want to extract the month and compare to the month 12 December. Next, the day, Christmas day is 25th, so we extract the day from the date time original property and then we order, we sort them by the date time original in a descending order. And we have here the explanation of the query. We select all the pictures taken on Christmas in time, sorted descending on daytime. Well, this is an example, but you can use this example, for instance, for listing all the birthday of a child, of yourself, of a relative, a certain periods in your time, which were very important for you. And because, of course, when you have your pictures in folders, you will never be able to do these kind of things. This is a dynamic query, much more elaborate and much more advanced than the libraries used by Microsoft Explorer itself. That are, uh, uh, the libraries there are very rigid and very uh, inflexible. We have another period taken last month. That's another online help file which will uh, explain the intervals. We select again all the fields from the picture like examples. And now we're going to cast the daytime to daytime and we have um, compared to the current timestamp using an interval of one month. In this way we will list all the pictures taken during the last month. Finally, the last example, a complex and flexible one. We named the query complex and flexible and as you see only three images are listed in the table view. We have a look at the filter. We created this filter. We only want to show you pictures taken by a Canon camera model. We selected like and we used the percentage to include all the uh, models containing the word Canon. We clicked on add a group. We will use and apply the OR statement onto the next two lines. Country equals Italy or the country equals United States. And we add another group. Set this to end. And the final inclusion criteria is that the category should equal famous bridges. And when you save it, we call it complex and flexible, run the query, only the files with model, canon, country, Italy or United States and category famous bridges. You can use it to tag them in the batch. You can set all the properties using the EXIF properties, using the IPTC properties. You can export the selected pictures to Excel, HTML page. For instance, HTML will help you to publish your pictures on your website. You can update the pictures. Um, if you change some properties, you can update the pictures in the library. You can print the selected pictures. Uh, pictures, for instance, if you print, the, you will have um, using the default printing capabilities of Windows. You can edit the picture using your default editor. You can select different views. You can list them as thumbnails. You can list them as a, a bit larger thumbnails, and you can use them in a very uh, advanced way with extended properties like. Uh, the size, the ISO value, etc., etc., and in this case also the formatted addresses. And you can scroll using uh, yeah, the, the scroll bar, and you can scroll through all your pictures using different views. Um, you can have a slideshow. If we start some pictures and select them, you can start the slideshow within Folder Viewer itself. And um, the transient curves you can set with the configuration files. In this case, it was we used random boxes, but you can set the transition effect yourself. There are a lot of default uh, 
effects already in the library. You can um, you go and start a full screen with the same picture but with the format of the address. Escape will stop the slideshow. You can do it manually. You can have the pictures uh, listed automatically. If you select them, uh, they will be listed automatically without pressing F4. You can change the properties, of course, directly from your pictures. Finally, we'll end this instruction video with a nice example of the power of Folder Viewer. We have selected Italy and buildings. We have a picture of the Tower of Pisa. And we will view the picture by pressing F4. And here you'll see the beautiful Tower of Pisa. We go to the map. And by the, yeah, I think the very advanced tool of Google called Street View. And maybe you're unaware, but you can have a view from the Tower of Pisa. This is a new feature of Street View. You can have a look around. And I myself have been to Pisa, but the tower was too crowded, so I didn't go up there. And now, facilitated by Google Street View, you can have a look around yourself and have a view of the Tower of Pisa from all of yours Street View map.